Hey Scrappy friends, this is Mags from Mags Graphics and today I'm going to show you a couple of new products and rebuild this layout that I made using largely the Happy Hayride bundle which released last year as well as the new borders and warped frames and the fasteners that came out last month. Uh, I'm excited about these new products because they are easy ways to add some interest to your layouts and just they can be used again and again, which I love things that I can reuse. Um, these pictures were taken back in 2001. Our oldest is now a junior in college, but I knew I had the perfect photos uh, for this kit, and I love that fall is finally coming to Ohio. Even if it's 84 degrees today, I know it's coming eventually. What I've already done is added some pages from the Happy Hayride bundle onto my canvas, and we're ready to add on some borders. Make sure that you click on uh, the embellishments before you look for them. I spent a good three minutes looking around because I and uh, panicking because I didn't think they were installed properly and it turned out I was on the page paper tab which they wouldn't show up there. Um, the borders come in a bundle of all four seasons but they're also sold separately autumn, spring, summer, winter. They come with some patterns that match existing kits in the store. Uh, the autumn or the fall borders uh, used a day of Thanksgiving and Happy Hayride. The spring borders used a really fun kit called One Great Day and also Hippity Hoppity Easter. The summer borders used Beach Paradise and Lake Life. And then the winter borders, which is my favorite season, used winter retreat and woodsy winter. You can customize these though with any kit that you want and that's one of the things I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. I'm going to grab this one and this one and I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to move this over and start to kind of layer them the way that I would like. So a little bit of the wood sticking out. This is kind of our, I just want this little bit of curve sticking out, but I want to change this one and add a new paper. So I'm going to go back over here to the Happy Hayride kit. You could certainly use any kit that you would like but I'm sticking with the fall theme right now. Go to papers and I would like the pumpkins, which are down here. Whoops, I did not want to do that. Okay, well, it didn't matter, added it behind. Uh, we're gonna fill the selected shape. I'm gonna scoot it over a little bit and hit okay. All right, line these up so that they are centered. I like when my borders kind of hang off a little bit. I just, I don't like the little, I move things, I end up clicking things so often and moving them around funny. I usually pull them out just to make them extend a little further. That way I know they're covering the entire canvas. Even though they're 12 inches long, at least I know they're just the way they're supposed to be. We're going to add some shadows to them. And I've got three borders stacked here that are ready to build upon. And again, you could add, you can scoot them around, you can add, turn, the, turn them sideways, and any paper, color, texture, however you wanted to do it. And the next thing I want to show you are the warped frame, the warped frames. The cool thing about these is that while they are, look like they're curved up, again, I should be on the embellishment tab, the space inside is actually squared off so that you can easily add a photo and not have to try to warp the photo to fit. I'm gonna use the three and I'm gonna use this larger square. Turn, close this move these over just so that I can work with them. And we'll go to the insert ribbon 
add an empty frame, position this over the top, and expand it. I'm going to move it below, and I'm going to do the same thing over here. And position this over, oops, over the top. And then I can copy paste them all the way down. And scoot these under. Oops, under the next one. Now I'm not going to tilt them or anything until I get the pictures that I want inside. You usually don't need to add a shadow to because they're already there. Um, it's created that way so that it looks like it's popping off the page. Then I'm going to start grabbing some photos that I've got back from our fun days on the on the farm. Uh, let's see here. I've got my sweet son who was not happy about being put in the teepee or maybe he was just tired of me taking so many photos. Uh, I have one of my favorite ones of him sitting on the hay, which I just thought was super cute. And he was all bundled up and adorable. And I've got one of him on the pumpkin patch where we were trying to prop him up to take pictures and he just kept falling off the pumpkin. Now that I've got all of those in there, I'm going to take the three photos in the frame and I'm going to group them together. And I also need our pumpkin ride picture or hay ride picture. And move that in there. The next thing I want to do um, is grab some fasteners. I'm going to end up fusing these to it so that I can move them around. The Everyday Fasteners released last month and they have two types. They have one that has uh, no exterior shadows that you can shadow them the way you want, but the second version has these pulled shadows so that they're a little warped and it looks like they're lifting off the page further than Artisan can do at this time. So I'm going to use the tight leather tie and I'm also going to scroll down and use the rope in the rivet. So this one's going to come here. I'm going to tip it a little bit to connect it and then I'm going to use that, the frame and the picture, group them together and I'm going to resize this one. I think I might take this off the side. For now we can always move it and I'm going to group that with this. Now, when I move these around, they all come together. And I can tip them, which I like to do, kind of overlap them any way that I want. Now it's just a question of adding in some fun stuff. So I can go back to the Happy Hayride bundle and start picking out the embellishments that I like. I'll take you back to what I ended up choosing to do with this. The Happy Hayride also has a really gorgeous alpha set um, that you can make your own titles. Uh, for me, I had already piled so many things onto the page that it really didn't want to, uh, it didn't fit the way I had hoped, so I'm not using it with this one. But we added in some leaves and greenery behind just to add some layers and depth. I loved the big scarecrow head that looked like it had made it, a, it had been made at a craft fair. Um, my warning is on the text because it doesn't like the word Hakyo, H-A-C-Y-O, which was our church group we were in um, now 20 years ago. But when it started, nobody had children, so it was called Have a Child, You're Out, which we thought was incredibly funny when we were in our 20s. <laughs> uh, and then everyone had babies, so then it was just a joke because we went everywhere together and it was a really good group. Anyway. 
hopefully you'll be able to find some ways to use all of these as well. I like this everyday series. There are templates, there are packs. I just keep adding to it. It's just things that you can grab at any time. Um, the borders, the fasteners, the warped frames. I know you'll be able to make a lot of great layouts and I can't wait to see them. Remember in September, there's a 30% off code if you check out the deal page for all digital art. So definitely take advantage of that to get your best price for this month. I can't wait to see what you make. Um, oh, one more thing to mention. If you like the font that I use, this is called Mag's Thick Print. It is my handwriting. And in the Mag's Graphics fan group on Facebook, it is a freebie in the freebie folder. So if you want it, you're welcome to take it. And that's where you'll find it in the Mag's Graphics fan group on Facebook. All right. Be sure to tag me uh, when you upload your layouts because you know I love to see them. Thanks a lot.